Hi guys, it's me Pete and welcome back to Pete Plays Video Games. Tonight, I'm gonna continue with my coverage of World Breaker's Advent of the Canon, a two-player card game set in an alternate 13th century Asia. Somewhat similar to the setting of L5R, I thought it would be fun translating the game's factions to Rokugan's clans. So join me as I mix and match World Breaker's guilds with Rokugan's clans. Just a bit of a background, the World Breaker's core set will feature four factions called guilds. Each guild focuses on a particular game style and card type. The four guilds are named after either an element or a celestial body, namely Earth, Stars, Moon, and even Void. Each guild is represented by a world breaker, a historical figure imbued with supernatural powers through the legendary resource called Mythene. In L5R terms, your world breaker is both your stronghold and sensei. Let's start with Earth. Earth is the Mongolian faction and is represented by the world breaker Cthulhu, mechanically the Earth Guild is the Lion Clan of the World Breakers universe. Its deck is geared towards aggro play and rewards players for consistently declaring attacks. Swarm and Blitz are its main strategies. Aesthetically, this guild reminds me of the Unicorn Clan, as both draw inspiration from Mongolian culture. Next is the Stars Guild with its world breaker, Marco Polo. Aesthetically, there's no direct Rokugani clan equivalent for this guild. The personalities unique to this guild are a mix of both Western and Eastern origin. Mechanically, however, Marco Polo feels like a combination of the Crane and Crab clans, although more Crane than Crab. Like the classic Crane Clan build, Marco Polo relies on locations, cards somewhat similar to regions, for its main win condition. Think of this world breaker as the Italian version of the Crane's Shinsei Shrine build. Marco Polo is also like the Crab Clan, but mostly because of the emphasis on defending. The Moon Guild with its world breaker, the Muhandasa, bears some resemblance to the Dragon Clan. Similar to Marco Polo, it relies on locations to win. But unlike Marco Polo, it does so in a very dragon way. The Muhandasa has a unique ability called Storage, which, as the name suggests, allows you to store cards under it for future use. Looks familiar, doesn't it? Moon cards also provide prodigious card draw, reminiscent of the Dragon Turbo Enlightenment builds that can draw half their decks in one turn. Last, but certainly not the least, the Void Guild. The Void Guild, represented by its world breaker, Ruknudin, is a combination of the Scorpion Clan and Corrupted Phoenix Clan build. Like the said clans, the Void Guild aims to control the board through attrition and personality. Like the Scorpion Clan, the Void Guild has no qualms, resorting to underhanded tactics, often employing assassins, saboteurs, and cut purses to do their dirty work. Like the scorpion, their stronghold was eventually raised to the ground. If you found the game interesting, please do check it out. It's currently live on Kickstarter, and a link to the game's page will be provided in the comments below. And as always, this is Pete saying bye, guys. I'll see you.